hi viewers let's get down today for another action uh, today we are going to trail you on just five points to hit for possible uh, injury and a knockout I uh, first time as please do not forget I will always remind you to <coughs> subscribe hit the bell even as you're waiting to get your comments all right stay tuned and enjoy this okay we want to talk about like as already, I've already explained we want to we want to work on some points five points specifically on how to bring down your opponent knock out knock him out on or either inflict possibly inflict injuries on him so this is how it's going to go ready we're going to swing a punch and I'm breaking it at first before we take the full action now as he comes with the punch go Bam. that's one and the next thing I did I will do is strike here then from here I go palm here with the groin all right okay now we take that again now I explain now he comes with a punch I take this this is elbow strike locking striking his elbow is uh, the joint by his elbow inside strike it immediately I finish the striking I shock him with a thumb strike here within the region the breast region that links the rib cases straight there and after that I take a strike to the groin bam there to the groin all right okay now let's see that again with a clearer explanation he comes I go bam here one and I go two here and I go two here I can decide to go there we take that again now we're going to follow him up after the grind if the need be he goes okay for the last time ready so one two mm, mm. i can follow up there if i want to Aye. and of course if you understand the strike that goes to the groin you will understand what he will passing through what he will be going through after that strike it's a stamp to the groin there bam. maybe you might not really understand what this means or what it does to whoever you're striking now now open up can you see the way it's jacking now to, this is to show you that it does a great deal of effect uh -huh. on him so if you strike that hard enough boom what happens it affects it runs through the entire rib and it affects him then whatever thing you now apply there will just aid what has been done to him already to take him off the way so that is what we just finished doing so now we're going to take on the second point now get set for the second point ready go now from here if you care to apply this because his face is down still okay you care to apply this still okay you care to strike from the top still okay but first you need to understand what you've already done to him now the punch goes right to his solar plexus now what happens is this let's take it slowly he comes to the punch I bounce this down I go here first 
to make him keep the place clearly open for me and I go straight there to the solar. And I didn't punch this way, but I penetrate with the two knuckles straight to the solar. That's what happens. And I am punching and jacking him up at the same time. So it penetrates real good. All right? That is exactly what happened there. Now let's take it slowly again from there. This is the pairing. One, two, and three. That's what happens. The hard strike and it's a very devastating strike. If you don't understand it, just pick up somebody and just do this. Don't strike, just light like this. You can see what is happening. It's trying to refrain back. So to show you that it is not a child's play. So that is the second point which we in um, among the five. That's the second point. So from here, I think there's no more explanation to be done here because it is very clear. Solar plexus and the parry, pa pa pam, it goes there. You go one and go like a circular motion. The punch comes, you go. One punch follows and it goes there. The punch, the one here was to bring him down like that and then there. Good. All right. Now we've done with the second point. So now let's move on the third point. The third point goes this way. Now let's assume the opponent is coming with a strike, headlong strike, probably with a weapon, stick or whatever. But as far as he's coming, headlong strike. This is what happens. So now let's see a headlong strike. The first step there, and the next thing is a cross here. You can see what is happening. If you cross this path, that alone means you are telling this man the leg goodbye. Because this leg will break automatically. Dislocate, will dislocate from the knee automatically. Okay, now if you want to show a bit of leniency, a bit of leniency, you want, still want him to make use of that leg. Now you go this way. Now come up again. You slide, side step. Now start stepping in this manner because you have already show, try, uh, uh, plan to show him mercy by not taking off his leg entirely. You step forward and then take the strike from the back. He breaks forward. Now from this point of breaking forward, you can decide to do anything. One there, two there, and it's gone. Comes up. Right. For further explanation again, we take it again from top. Now he comes with a strike. He goes, I step and I crush. This is crushing. Crushing, this leg will go. It's coming straight from the side here. Side, side strike. If you go to here, he will bend. It means you're showing him leniency. But when you do not want to show him any leniency, you want to end this leg for him. You want the leg to, to dislocate to cargo. You're coming straight to the side here. And that's where you go. You can hear the shock. You can feel the shock from there. Good. Straight one there, he crushes down. Alright? Now, showing the leniency. Let's show the procedures again. Now you want to show him a bit of leniency. He comes. Go. Step. You move. Now you go to the back in between the knee and strike. Bam! He breaks four. Breaking four, you now add this one to the jaw. You add it again two. And if you care, you can add the stamp there. Okay. That's as good as that. Now, I don't think we need further explanation for this because I have shown the two points in one that the way that this technique works, the 
2.1 showing you the one that you want to show him leniency and the one that you actually want to inflict a lifetime injury because that points to strike there pow, it's a lifetime injury because the leg goes pow, like that and it's gone from the knee it's gone now to show leniency you tap from the behind in between and he breaks fall. Breaking fall is not that he will not have injury on that knee. He will, but he's just he's going to heal over time. But the other one gone. That knee gone. Totally. Alright? Okay now let's make do with that and prepare for the fourth point. And uh, this is how it goes. Now first we want to want to assume that this person is coming in with a push you know sometimes it happens that way that uh, somebody comes in to molest you first of all by trying to show uh, who, who is this uh, who, who, who are you and all that so so that is the process you know, the procedure of what is coming to do now and this is what will follow suit as he dares to do that now try to make that push BAM! This strike goes straight to the nose. Strike there. Now, when I strike this, bam, it will trigger him backward, one or two steps back. A bit. Now, what happens is I pull myself and I take this to the groin, tap the groin up, bam, and it goes down. Just the way he is now. Now, from here, it's left for you, it he is at your mercy, it's left for you to make the choice, either to apply any other thing to him, either to take him up from there again, and add this again to pass him down, you are at liberty to make that choice. But majorly, the major point we want you to observe and to execute swiftly and clean. That will first of all weaken this man is what we have just shown and we are going to take it again. From here, you are there and he dares to come to make a push. You step with that. See that? One time step and a stamp to the nose. There he goes. And you now pull this palm to the groin. And he goes, are you there to do this? You take him off totally. That is exactly what happens. That's how it works on the street. Okay? Come up. Now, this strike covers from here entirely the mouth and the nose stamp together with this. If it is hard enough, it's going to inflict injury on the mouth and on the nose. And it can cause him nose bleeding. Immediately he bleeds. And that will disorganize him. It takes one two or two steps backward. And you then apply. Because by his movement. And he has lost uh, contact. Uh, lost control rather. He has lost control by that. He's open. The groin is there. Another effective area. Palm, you take a tap there and it goes down and you further again take him there up and off he goes all right so that is a very good um, technique for you to apply on the street but you need to know the principles and how they how it works well but with this explanation and uh, and they show you've been able to see exactly how it works and how you apply it it has to be sweet now let's take it maybe for more emphasis once once and that will be done now he tries to come with that push bam yeah as swift as that there's no waste of time immediately because let's let's explain this a little bit further now if he comes with a push and i'm here push he succeeds to do the thing now he comes with a push i do this you see first of all by the twisting here i have changed his perception because he was coming like this 
and I went like this. This can already take him off sleeping. You can see that. Now, by this, I might decide to just allow him sleeping and then take this and return him back. But that's not what we are working on. We're working on this strike. So that's why immediately he comes with that. Bam! I take that strike. And it goes off. And the next thing is bam there. And it goes and then bam there. He goes. If you want to apply anything? You can apply if you want. It's not very composite. But if you see it fits, you can do that. Alright? So now let's do it a little bit swift. Ready? Go. Da! Pa! Da! Right. So that is it. All right. I think that is supposed to be the number fourth point, right? All right. Okay. Now we are done with number fourth point. So let's get set to take on number five point. Now this is how it goes. This time it's going to come with the regular street kind of punch that we all know. We all are aware of and very conversant with. And we see the danger of it to be countered. And the point that will be countered is a very devastating part of the body and a very uh, a, a salient point to have counter on now ready he's going to take it go so, and I see this this punch that is what happens Pum! straight to the ribs and I said it before in our previous uh, shot that there's a punch there's how you punch in a rib case and depending on what actually that you want to happen or to inflict on the opponent by punching the rib case, you know exactly what you want. Yeah, you want to break a rib or you just want to send a warning to him by just causing him pain, not actually a serious injury by a broken rib or whatever. Now, by the time you take this this cannot just cause a broken rib this may cause more than a broken rib because you are packing the rib clamping them from one point to the other it's just like things that are like okay for instance my fingers that are like this now if you take a strike here it will affect one but if you take a strike here it will affect more than one it may even affect all because the pressure that comes to this clamp to that and to that so it might end up breaking this and that one so that is what happens here when you take that punch we call it urazuki but um popularly known as uppercut but the uppercut when you say uppercut the respect is coming is going there no it is the 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 the, the, the uh, execution the manner the way you execute the technique it goes like that all right so it goes straight there now for instance i take this bam it wasn't hard enough now he still comes in with another swing i go and i see take that again all right, and this time I'll make it more devastating. By that time I take one and I add this again. It goes out. Okay, now let's see that. Let's see how it works. I'll take it light on the counter there so that you can come up with the second one. And I'll take it and I apply it. Now let's go. Go. Ay, ay, yeah, ay, da. That is how it goes. All right. We understand it. The punch, the three punches that I've just given to counter him, they are all directed to the rib. The two scooping the rib, scooping.
chopping the rope and this other one taking the rip from the slanty area there can you feel it all right i am not punching to the tummy but i'm focusing on the rib that from the side okay that is it all right so i think with this we do not need too much of explanation all we need is for you to be able to study it know practice it and know how it works and it will do a lot of good so please our first timers do not remember forget sorry do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell even as we are expecting to get your comment thank you and